Hello, Stan from GPT for Sheets here, and I'm going to teach you about the GPT function today. So the GPT function is the first and the simplest of the functions that the GPT for Sheets and Docs add-on provides you. Make sure that you have enabled GPT functions for it to work. You only need to do it once per document, um, but if you do not do it, it will the functions will not be available. So once this is enabled basically when you start typing gpt you will see all these functions today we're in this video we're all only going to talk about the main gpt function it is the simplest way to try the add-on and to use it so basically you can just type hello and openai's gpt will answer you hi there how can i help you now let's try the canonical example of write a tagline for an ice cream shop with GPT. You can take this cell as an argument and it will give you the answer in this cell. Okay, great. Uh, now, what if you wanted to make your prompt a little more, a little more uh, specific? So I will delete this, I will keep this, um, actually I will split it into multiple parts. So I will specify the task, I will specify the tone, I will specify the country of the shop, I will tell it to include a pun uh, or a joke, let's say. Um, okay, I think that's, that's it, and so the task will be to write a tagline, the tone will be uh, funny, the country will be Iceland, uh, okay, include a joke, and actually I will tell it that the length should be um, under uh, 15 words. Okay, so the uh, beauty of the GPT functions is that you can actually take a whole range uh, as an argument. So here, I will do it this way. Okay, GPT of that whole range, C4 to D8. And there we go, Icelandic fun guaranteed to melt your heart. So it took all the instructions and gave an answer that answered all of it. Uh, and if here we have not specified the temperature parameter, so it is zero by default, but if I put one, uh, to make it more creative, it will give me another answer. Okay, Iceland, it's one cool country, Chile and Iceland. So, um, as you can see, it, this is a great way that you can use uh, the GPT function with prompts that are more detailed than a simple line, and it makes it very easy to write a good prompt. A good prompt is a specific prompt. Uh, rather than having to type uh, uh, it in one sentence, you can use the spreadsheet to make it then easy to modify. For example, I could just then modify the country for, I don't know, Kenya, and it will give me another result. Kenya, the land of loves, get ready for a wild ride. Okay. Um, so that's, I think this is all I wanted to say today. Uh, I hope this is useful and do not hesitate to ask some questions.